Hello everyone, welcome to our daily devotion. You know, it seems like I apologize for being late a lot lately, but um, today I wasn't even supposed to be here at all. Um, you guys know about the situation that I've been in, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have internet or anything today. The company, um, you know, had told me that there'd be no more extensions and and whatever, but in a, just in a, a moment yesterday, last night, I decided to call the after hours, and I told them, I said, um, look, here's the deal, I don't have the money to pay it right now, and I'm hoping to in a few days, and you know what, they extended it one more time, they gave me 48 hours, so I have until Friday to keep my internet and all that stuff on. And so, um, if you don't believe in miracles, I do, because I got one last night. Now, you may say, well, that's not much of a miracle. You only have 48 hours left. <laughs> but that's okay, because you don't know what God can do in 48 hours. God is amazing. He takes care of us, even when we feel like he's not doing enough. The thing is, you, just, you can't personally outdo God. You can do everything in your power to take care of yourself. And trust me, I have been trying my best to do that. You can do everything in your, your power to provide for yourself. But you know what? God does a whole lot better than you. And I know that for a fact. You know, if you need proof that you can't do outdo God, look around the world that we live in. Look at the world that he created, the trees, the flowers, the animals, the, you know, the waters, the mountains. They're gorgeous. Our world has something for everyone. Now, this world does have evil in it. And that's just because evil entered our world thousands of years ago. But we have beauty here as well. We have a God that loves us. And he cares for us. And he does do for us. You know, sometimes we think about why we do without or why we don't have. And I think we need to stop thinking about that because God does give us what we need to live now do I do I want to continue doing my devotions absolutely because I think God wants me to do that so you know what I'm going to have to trust in him to provide what I need to do so Matthew 6 28 through 29 says See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. You see, the flowers, they don't do anything to be beautiful. They don't do anything to grow. God takes care of them. He gave them their gorgeous color, their beautiful smells. And they still grow, regardless. And he does the same for us. So I need to do a better job myself sometimes trusting. Everything is in God's own timing. Now, do we help with God's agenda? Yes, we do. We help by listening and following his direction. But can we truly take care of ourselves? Can we truly outdo God? No, we can't. We will never be able to outdo God. We just don't have the power to do it. So, keep praying, folks. I truly enjoy bringing God's Word to you each and every day. And I really truly believe that God wants me to do this. But in order to do this, 
He has to provide for me. And I have to be faithful. And remember that he will. Might be in his own timing. Well, it will be in his own timing. But we just got to learn not to stress about things so much. Now, do I think God can work a miracle in 48 hours? Absolutely. God can work a miracle in five minutes if he wanted to. But I know in my heart, I have to say, I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that God can work things out. All things are done through him for the good of us and for the advancement of the kingdom. And so I'm learning this, sometimes the hard way. But no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, I can't take care of myself better than God. And neither can you. He always knows what we need when we need it. Sometimes he makes us wait. And it's in those moments where we have a decision to make. Do we remain faithful and wait on the Lord? Or do we get so nervous and anxious and upset that we just do everything in our own will instead of God's will? Because you know I've done both. And it's in those moments when I rely on myself that I wind up making a big mess of things myself. And I still turn to the one who created me and who loves me no matter what and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I messed up. And you know what? He fixes it because he loves us. And he's never going to turn his back on us. So I'm asking you to do the same. Remember, God loves you so much. There's nothing that he won't do for you. Please remember to pray. Pray for a miracle for Friday. <laughs> and pray for those on our prayer list who are sick and hurting, who need help. There is so much power in prayer. And remember, in weakness, his power is perfected. God bless you all. I hope to see you tomorrow morning for our daily devotion. Have a wonderful, blessed day.